Some people ask me, does my hair stink? I never understand that question. Does my hair stink? Does your hair stink? Okay. Welcome subbies and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk a little bit more about my hair journey. Um, just kind of what led me to getting sister locks and why I decided to do this style instead of traditional locks. The history of my locks, my cousins, my female cousins on my mom's side all have locks. They all have traditional locks though. I chose sister locks because it was more versatile than the traditional locks. I've literally done everything imaginable to this hair. Uh, if you haven't seen my Instagram story, yes, I am the person flat ironing my sister locks because I can. Because you can flat iron sister locks. Do I recommend it? Probably not, but you can. Um, <laughs> I absolutely love this hairstyle. It is so versatile. I have gotten braids, box braids to be exact. I have honestly gotten a lace frontal when I got sick and tired of it and really wanted to cut it. So I've pretty much expanded with this hairstyle. I mean, like what's my favorite part about having this hairstyle? And honestly, it's just not really having to do much to it. I think when I first started it and just growing it out, I actually styled it a lot more back in the day than I do now just because it's gotten so much longer. Um, but I wake up, spray it with water, and then I leave the house. That's the best part about the sister locks. Now, as far as maintenance. So, wash my hair every three weeks, get it maintained every six weeks. A lot of questions surround how much is it? My initial install was $700, but mind y'all, that was back in 2017. We're in 2022 now, right? How much did you buy your car for back in 2017? How much are is that same car in the 2020 version worth, right? Um, I think we have to think about that and inflation. So expect to pay about maybe a thousand to twelve hundred dollars for this hairstyle today and maintenance every six weeks cost me probably 175 to 200 so i think that's kind of similar to getting i don't know a frontal every six weeks i don't know how often people get frontals i don't know so it's pretty pricey but you can always learn how to self-maintain I know how to maintain myself, so if push came to shove, I would just do my hair myself, although I don't want to, because it takes my consultant three to four hours to do my hair. It'll probably take me three to four months <laughs> to do my hair myself, just because I'm lazy, just because I'm lazy. But if I actually focus, I'd probably say I could get it done in about 10 to 12 hours. But why? Why not just pay for convenience? Anyway, guys, I literally love this hairstyle and I recommend it to anybody that's really wanting to embrace some form of natural hair journey, but just it really doesn't know what they want to do. I definitely would recommend this hairstyle for people that actually can afford it, right? Not just financially, but of course, just emotionally afford it, right? Because this is a hairstyle that requires maintenance. You can't go eight months like you could with traditional locks, with sister locks, some things gonna pop right off, baby. They gonna pop clean off and you ain't gonna have no hair, <laughs> okay? So if you are just ready for, you know, the journey, I definitely think that this is a style that you should really look into. But that's all I got for now, subbies. Let me know if you have questions. Make sure you guys subscribe, add me on all socials, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that. Let me know what else you guys are wanting to see, what kind of content you're wanting. Sayonara.